two years ago, an amazing gamer went back to GameStop to return a game to which he couldn't commit. Hey, can I return this game? Oh, I'm sorry, we only accept trade-ins. I had it for like two hours. Sorry, that's policy. Okay, how much do I get? It's gonna be $12. 12? What? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Thank you. No, thank you. Because I'm taking this Grand Theft Auto poster with me. Hey. This man promptly escaped from the video game retail to the gaming underground. Today, still wanted by the assholes who tried to burden him with the call of Laura's for Xbox 360, he survives as a gamer of fortune. So if you have a problem, no one else will tell you the truth about a game. And if you can find him and his team, we're on iTunes and Podbean, then maybe you can listen to The Ace Watch. I know all the game. You game. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Hey everybody, back again this week. Tonight on the show, uh, Naughty Dog gets naughtier. Uh, we got a little Zelda love, and of course, I have to mention a certain trailer that came out. I'm your host, Rise Like Phoenix. With me, as always, Mr. Giant Shock. I love the Grand Wizard Cartman. Uh, Mr. Max Barracuda. That was a good skit. Thank you. Uh, Novus Redemptor. I agree with Max Barracuda. <laughs> Thank you. Um, right now we're going to go into what's new. What's new? What's new? What's new? All right, so I'm going to kick this bitch. I didn't play anything new this week. Fail. That's yeah. not new at all. Oh, host I, of the show. I know. Game over. I know. Uh, Titanfall next week, fellas. I, I don't know what to tell you. I played a little <laughs> Battlefield. Uh, nothing, nothing there. Wasn't having a good time. Um, that's about it. Battlefield was bad like that. Battlefield is bad like that. Um, yeah. Anyway, so what are you doing? I just picked up uh, South Park. I know. Uh, I'm so Stick jealous. of Destiny. I believe, or something. Stick mm-hmm. of Truth. Stick of Truth. Stick of Truth. It's, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean. I, if you're not a really big fan of South Park, you're going to miss so much from not watching all the episodes because literally everything in the game is homage to something in a particular episode. But it's a turn-based game, uh, which I hate those, but it, it got me to like it for this game because I you know every time they, they do do an attack, it's Butters or it's fucking um, you know, Jimmy or Kenny saying something dumb. Well, not necessarily Kenny, but well, you kind of described <laughs> it too that you have to do like motion controls. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's not just like I pick an attack and I attack. You got to um, time things out. It's a lot of timing. There's based execution stuff. stuff There's execution there. stuff. So that gets a little fun. It, it has a bit of fun. Uh, one like the like one of the special attacks. You, by the way, you're not like a particular character in South Park. You're the new kid that moved there, and it gets you right off the bat. Spoiler right here because you're gonna kill a joke for it. But right off the bat, it um t- it types is like type in your name, right? And I type in you know my name, and then it goes. Cartman's like, oh, so you're a douchebag. Did I get that right? And he says, pick yes or no, and you can't pick no. <laughs> so it's like douchebag. Okay, one more time. Did I get that right? He's like, yes or no, and you can't pick again. You can't pick. You can't pick no. And he's like, okay, for the rest of the game, I'm gonna call you douchebag. <laughs> nice. All right. Nice. And uh, they refer to him as the Grand Wizard. It, the, the first movie sequence starts off uh, kind of like that uh, episode with uh. The Bodacious Tatas episode, the 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 fucking um, the the Kenny on acid. Oh, uh, it's cat uh, pee. The cat what pee. Cheesing. Cheesing is the cheesing episode. They, it's kind of like, spoil the whole game for us, man. Well, I'm just saying that the art is like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the, that's how it, like it tells you the story of like this the, the stick of truth, whatever. And uh, it's kind of like Calvin Hobbes ish because like every movie sequence is like for real. They have goblins and ogres and elves. Yeah, they do that in the show a lot. And then like with the ninja episode, yeah, and yeah. The bringing the blockbuster. Where it goes into their imagination right, right, kind right. of thing. Uh, speaking of, if you've seen every episode, you go into every every house you go into that's playing like a, either an episode like a Terrence and Philip episode that you could like I, I readily know like oh it's from it's a queefing episode that they have the two chicks or you go into a place and they start playing the um, the anime song the. Uh, Protect my balls. Yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. fighting love. Uh, has uh, all the characters, and realistically, if you're a South Park fan, it's a must own, and you, it's, Dude, it's a I, lot of fun. I am, and I was in love with the idea of the game, but um, 
Because you should... It's only for 360. It didn't come out for the new gen systems. And it's I'm on PS3. It's, it's on PS3. It's PS3. I thought it saw for PS3. It is PS3. Right, but it's not PS4 or Xbox One. Well, I'm 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 fine with that because like it was made for the 360. I didn't need right. them necessarily be like, oh, it's for every system and it's just that the game's same been game. in development forever. Too. No, yeah, but I understand. But why can't I get like, it like downloadable year. on Xbox One? Obviously, I know that the graphics aren't good. It's supposed to be shitty graphics. That's what's funny about it, but. I a new system shit. came out. Yeah, well, it's, right. it's not even. It's, it's, it's like show quality. It's, it's drawn like yeah. the, like the show, which is it's which is now all digital animation. It's literally like watching a, an episode. What yeah. you're interacting with. But it. I was just disappointed. I didn't think that any game uh, from now on would only come out for PS3. That or one was Xbox in development years. Ago. Welcome to the next gen. Yeah, but like that one was in development a long time ago. Like I remember getting a Game Informer like probably two was that uh, was a. February of last year with that on the cover. Yeah, I remember that. I remember oh, that. I remember. I, we were psyched about it. We saw it at Comic Con when we had can the booth. Can you imagine if they, if they if they halfway through uh, development said, "Okay, we're going to make this for next generation consoles," it would probably take even longer for it to come out, even on the previous. No, one. just just burn it on a disc. I don't give a fuck. This like, is a. Uh, I, I would s- just play it. Obviously, they don't have to spruce up the graphics for for, for Xbox One. I gotta say that they um. The, usually with like a entity like uh, South Park or you know any cool thing like a show that you watch they just slap the name on a game or uh, you know oh no or an entity and it's usually sucks mm-hmm. but this they did they took their time and they really made it really cool. also Trey Parker and Matt Stone were actually involved in this one whereas the last few they were like yeah do whatever you want yeah, yeah this game the characters no, they they they, they, they were balls deep in this and that's probably a good portion of the reason why it's so as good oh, as it seems I followed it. Uh, and from what I'm reading, people are saying it's just pretty much season 18 of South Park. It's a whole just loop of 14 hours of awesome fun. I, I copped it after work yesterday, and I got home ate dinner, and then I played you know until two in the morning, which is like you know five six hours. And literally, I didn't even finish the first quest. I was just look. I was just going through South Park. I go to Sark's Pond. Well, go yeah, to the you're, church. you're a fan. You're gonna. Dig it's around. all available to you. Uh, I mean, there's right the they, they right they there's stuff that is like blocked off where eventually I think you can go into you know once you uh, up uh you know once you go through the game a bit, but I was basically just wanted to see everything like I uh, I met I haven't seen Garrison yet I, I found uh, Mr. Slave though I uh, went to the post office and there was a dildo there and they're like oh go fucking see Mr. Slave you gotta give him his package right and that's how I ended up meeting him there's a uh, Bar Brady's there the every, every basically everyone in the South Park universe. And uh, it's uh, you gotta make a bunch of friends become popular. That's the whole point. Like you're not you're you're your own avatar that you made. Uh, right. So you're not like a character in the show. Right. Right. So uh, you got, your whole point is like make friends. Cool. So you have to go around um, South Park making friends. Just quick question: the avatar that you get to control is there anything like that online South Park uh, avatar creator? Like yeah, you can make it look like yourself. It's a customizable. Bit? Oh, it's completely. Yeah. And then you, every cool. you, you, you South you, Park you, Studios. Every yeah. time you find like a little treasure chest or you beat an enemy. You pick up uh, stuff like the, to mess with your avatar or to sell to you know buy more stuff for your avatar. Cool. I mean, it definitely sounds awesome. Um, I want to play it. Yeah, me awesome. too. Yeah, me too. All right. So, uh, Novus, what are you doing? Uh, so aside you're... from still working on Final Fantasy Thirteen very slowly because it drives me nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, I played some Zombie U over the weekend while I had my uh, my graduation party. Oh my god, a Wii U game! I I like the Wii U again. Yeah, but we and, think... and Zombie U is fun because um, <clears throat> I've never thank se- you, Danny. I've never seen anybody get past like the so third quest the in the game. Like it's it, a good no. And it's it's funny to watch because like over the weekend it's a big boat to keep afloat, Danny. <laughs> you might want to buy another game. Perhaps a bad buy a two game. When we were playing, <laughs> a lot of hungry mouths in the Mushroom Kingdom, you know. You know what, guys? Someone should buy me the new Donkey Kong game. But anyway, it's a good game. That's <laughs> what I've heard. But um, when you play the Zombie U, if you go out there and you get killed, um, your zombie is still out there, and you can get killed by that zombie, which always happens to my friends. So as we're sitting there playing, it's like, oh no, you're gonna get killed by a zombie Andrew, and it's like, oh, you got killed because you suck. Do and you respawn? The, the way you play it is either you play it on survivor or normal. Normal mode, every single time you die, you respawn as a different person at the oh. last save point. If you play survivor, if you saved it at a save point, you die. That's it. Is it okay. FPS? Uh, yeah, but it's, um, you have the tablet to look at map, look at your backpack, all that kind of stuff. Um, the, the, the big downside of it is it takes forever to kill anything. Like, you have a cricket bat for the most part. It Worked lit- the shot dead. Yeah, but it, it, it didn't take them literally ten hits. You're sitting there whacking that one guy. If you, if you're yeah, a but those of, things aren't made for speed. But, but if you, the one zombie in the <laughs> club, to, in, in the 
Winchester took him a couple of yeah, if, if, Somebody if, kill the queen. I, you got to know what a crumpet is but before if you, you know. <laughs> thank you for the turtle's preference. I was waiting for that. But no, seriously, if you're if you're encountering more than one zombie at a time in that game, you're screwed. Simple as that. Yeah. So it's is, they're that hard to take down. Yeah, like unless you have like a gun and you get like the absolute perfect headshot, you'll be sitting there whacking them for like ten minutes and you'll be attacked. How many one. people can play at once? Once, unless you play multiplayer, in which case, which is a fun mode. It's um, the person with the tablet controls where the zombies spawn, and the person with the controller has to fight them off. Oh, that is fun. Yeah, so like, you can just basically sit there and go like, okay, one here, one here, or you can be a dick and go, ah, oh, spawn them all right is now. Is there uh, zones you can only um, spawn yeah. them in? When you, uh, you can't when, just write on your back when giving you a massage or something. When you're holding the tablet, you see like, like this little cone of, of um, um, where you can post, where you can't post it, okay. and pretty much anywhere in the black, you can just put whatever you want. So. You, you know, uh, Mario's in a million games, right? Why can't Mario have a zombie game where, like, the whole Nintendo universe is all zombified and he's got to, like, take care of business? Luigi's like, Mansion. Yeah, but not like Ghost. Like, Re- meets Resident Evil, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but, yeah. But, but he's sitting there, like, you know, jumping on guys' heads and busting them open, like, oh, Luigi, goodbye, bro. <laughs> Boom, a headshot. <laughs> a headshot. If, if Return to Luigi's Mansion would be a good game. Well, no, not well, this they, they, shit hole again. Well, they, didn't they make another one for the DS or something? They did. All right, so that's close enough. That was not a good game. Max Barracuda, what are you playing? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Took a little break from Last of Us this week because I heard they announced a new Dishonored game, and mm-hmm. I never finished Dishonored. Okay. So I went back and played Dishonored. Mm-hmm. Dishonored, the game being where you were framed for murder. You're so framed you- for... To prove your innocence, Killing you go around and murder everyone. Or you don't murder anybody, and you play it completely stealth. That's no fun. Which is boring. Right. But I like that kind of thing. So I like the challenge of getting through a game, you know, just choking a guy out left and right. And but it's first person, isn't it? It is. I hate stealth first person. That's I like what, stealth third person. That's what throws you know? me off constantly about the game, too, is I think I'm very well hidden behind something, but they catch me anyway because I can't see my whole form. Yeah. Right. So right. I got a foot sticking out and they catch me. <laughs> and it's impossible. That was my big problem with the story mode in Call of Duty. And there's so many rats. Well, that's why I liked um, um, the last Splinter Cell game, not Blacklist, the one before that. Because if you start to get noticed, they tell you a little bit. And they give you a little... They like, give you the shadow. A little warning. Yeah. yeah. Tom Clancy has the most unforgiving one. games of all time, man. Like, Well, that's the last one I played was the one before the new one of... Conviction. Splinter Cell. Conviction. Yeah, yeah. Conviction. Go I never for... finished that. It's, it's, it's good. Uh, pretty good ending. So I, I'd say... You know, when you get a chance, finish it up. I should because it's loose and I never returned it. Ghost Recon was one of the uh, first games I got on Xbox 360, and that game was impossible to <laughs> go through story mode. But anyway, couldn't do it. Dishonored, mm-hmm. kind of fun. Kind graphics, of fun? graphics are a little weak for me. Do you uh-huh. are you doing any of the like, achievements in that at all? I'm still I'm working my way through the story first. Because um, if you do if you do any achievements, if you do the one that says play through the game on stealth, yeah. there's a part where you're supposed to like. Um, Either run away from somebody or tranquilize them. Okay. Run away. Just run. Because if you tranquilize them, it negates everything. I'm just gonna shoot them. You would. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that sounds. Yeah. Weird. My, my, my friend. Right. My friend told me he went through the entire game and, and fucked that up. Is it anything like Bioshock? It looked like it was gonna be a little like Bioshock. Uh, not really. No. It, it's a way different vibe to the whole thing. Okay. All the, right. So that's what everyone's exactly. playing. They're all playing something interesting. I'm playing crappy old Battlefield until next week. So mm. um, let's hit the news up. It was my understanding that everyone had heard. All right, so right off the bat, Konami got a new president. Um, I don't care, so we're moving on. Konami is still around? Yeah. That's news. Wait a minute. They may never dead. Fuck those guys. <laughs> what I do care about, though, is that the... Um... <clears throat> well, wh- which story do I want to do right now? You know what you want to do. No. No, no, that's that's for the end. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, We're skipping to the end. Texas man stabbed in a domestic dispute. Heard this one. I, I did not hear this one. He, Why? Uh, do we just transport ourselves to Paint a Black podcast? No. I, I debated putting this one on Paint a Black because tell them the weapon you use. Well, see, people... The Nintendo original controller? Right, so, no, so, better. So people um, who don't know... Uh, our Max Barracuda hosts a podcast that does uh, pretty much silly news. Pretty much. You could call it that. A little movie reviews. It's pretty good. I'm on it every once in a while. It's even better when I'm on it. Wow. Um, anyway. I was on it once. 
Right, right. No, it's still against Ryan. Oh, yeah, and Giants on <laughs> every week. I forgot. Um, anyway, the man was stabbed in a domestic dispute. All right, so there's this estranged husband who gets a call from his estranged wife who's living with her boyfriend. The boyfriend and her got in a fight, and she calls up to have him come over and save the day. So he comes over to save the day. Uh, the boyfriend, who happens to be a cosplayer, pulls out the Master Sword. <laughs> The man, thinking it was just a toy, runs at him and pretty much grabs it and lets it go into his chest or whatever. Impales himself on. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. It, uh, it gets more fun. When she shot light arrows at him. The, the man runs out, and at this point, it gets pretty much bonkers around there. Yeah. Because yeah. the man happened to have a couple clay pots handy in the front of the house. <laughs> Filled with rupees. <laughs> so he runs in, smashes clay pots... Over Zelda's head, or or um, Link. Where's Ganon in this motherfucker? I don't know. Link's head. <laughs> Fortunately, the the husband had a, a fairy in a jar, mm-hmm. so he was all right. To which point, he's getting slashed up with the master sword. He said, "I uh, oh, I got a quick quote. Yeah, I do." Uh, the guy said, "I said, go away. You don't live here." And he just walked into the point of the sword. I don't think he thought it was real. <laughs> The guy went to the hospital with uh, chest and leg injuries, and the man, the 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 Link character, if you want to say it, got a, a pretty bad gash on his head from the flower pot. Now it's kind of sad that these are the kind of video game stories that make it to the mainstream. Well, do they have any extra lives or what? No, no. That was all it? out, all out of fairies, no. all out of half parts. Uh, the I, internet I, has exploded, by the way. What was the last awesome, continue? Awesome, <laughs> awesome things like cops are looking for the man who sold him the sword, often seen in a red robe. And <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna to say. Go alone. I was gonna say this. that that would be the only thing that would make this better is if he had the sword out and stabbed the guy and said that in the process. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> nice. Or that if he was, swore but while he was lying in the the stretcher, you just hear bling bling. <laughs> he swung mad hard at him, and he fucking cut a he- like a hedge in half. Like, <laughs> no, the thing I I, I want to know is he tried to steal his how, Pegasus boots. I mean, like that guy's got it, and he said he wore it to a convention. By the way, mm. as Zelda, you can really bring like a diesel like, sword nope, into nope, it. Nope, nope. nope. What into maybe in, in the, Texas? In, into Comic Con? Dave Namer has a master sword. Yeah, we didn't bring it to Comic Con. I know that there uh, some guy told me at Comic Con this past year. That right at the gate, some kid came in with like uh, I don't know if he I don't think it was Zelda, but he came with like a super like real sword. Link. He was I don't know he's cosplaying as whatever the fuck, and they were like they let him in and they instantaneously took it from because that was the thing that that was dick about Comic Con was that they they didn't say you can't bring it in they were like they let him in and then took it from him. it was like a three hundred four dollars sword. Well, to be fair, New York Comic Con anyway was a little more heavy on security this year than <laughs> yeah, it's right. been in the past. Fucking, I, I snuck in like 10 people. We, yeah, but now yeah, you, we have, got to, him whatever now you have to scan a badge. No, I didn't. I just walked they, by. Now they want you to scan a badge. They, it yeah. was, it was law-abiding It citizens. was a tiny, it was a, like a speed bump <laughs> as opposed to last year when it was just the, it was just the Autobahn oh. of people that we brought up. Well, yeah, last year when Let's I came on Saturday way. was madness. You'd probably, you know, die in there and nobody would notice until like the next day. Yeah. They, they, uh, they, they channeled the traffic because they added basically Thursday as a new day. Yeah. You guys were telling me about yeah. that. Yeah. So, anyway, so, um. Next piece of news, and this one actually hurts my feelings. Uh, Amy Hennig, the writer for all three Uncharted, um, you know, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. Uh, She was the writer and lead developer of Uncharted, and she was in the middle of developing and writing for the new uh, Uncharted for PS4. No, she didn't die. Fired? She was fired. Oh, why? Forced out. They won't say why. Sony won't say why, but... uh, People around the office she are saying... She cropped us too much, and they were like, get the, this bitch She was a here. frequent flyer around the office. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, Amy, if you fucking come by here one more time and leave a stink, you are out. Anyway, people are actually saying that The uh, that the Last of Us creators, Neil Druckmann and Bruce Str- Straley, or Straley, I, n- I never know how to pronounce that, but... Uh, they actually pushed her out because they're not planning on doing a, a, a new Last of Us, and they wanted it's Uncharted. Kind of a finite story, but I don't see them doing an Uncharted game because Uncharted has humor to it. Right. Whereas right. Last of Us is pretty dour. Uh, somebody's gonna die in this Uncharted. That's what kind of what I was going at. Yeah. Like they're no, two no, different absolutely. games. It's a. I mean, Uncharted. Yes, I named my son after Nathan Drake, and and yes, I like them, but it was never 
too original. You know, like charismatic, no, wise ass dude. Indiana Jones. Right, right. But um, I don't want The Last of Us Uncharted. It was that was way serious. It's the most and dour game ever made. Right. Like, in the first ten minutes, if you don't roll a tear, you're not. You don't have a soul. Anyway, uh, she worked there for ten years. By the way. Never smelled better after she left. <laughs> Oh man! So wait, wait, when was She's that announced? She's been reduced to a What's fart that? joke. When was that announced? <laughs> that was announced the third of uh, so two days, two days ago. Two days. So like in the next week, we're gonna know the answer. So, oh yeah. So probably by like next week, we're gonna have. I the was answer. hoping we get it this week, but I, I you know, yeah. I checked it out before I came and uh, nothing. Yeah. Uh, another big one. Uh, the, I just thought of a terrible pun. But what do you got? Like she crop dusted and then she went. No, it was him, and we call that Drake's deception. That's for Dan. Right, that was the third one. Drake's Deception was so the third. Bad. Man, that I apologize. Okay. I apologize in advance. All right, I apologize for the skit last week. Um, <laughs> anyway, the new Xbox interface that they promised that they were saying that they were going to Cortana? bring before. No, no, no. The, the They were just going to do a, a slick little update right before uh, Titanfall because the multiplayer is you know, just broken and terrible. It's out, and... Um, it promised a lot of, of cool things. Uh, it looked cool at first when I got it. Uh, people who have an Xbox One and know just how broken it was. Uh, your friends list when you went to it, it was just this endless Tumblr shit where you couldn't actually figure out who was online right away. Yeah. John, you know what I'm talking about, right? I actually uh, never really played with a friend yet on Xbox One. I just played solo, and if I did, that play- makes me sad. Well, I mean, what I mean, what keep fucking multiplayer games like I had Rise, Dead Rising no. Three, and the NBA game, which I just played. Um, all right, well, it would bring you to a Tumblr feed. Now, at least on the left hand side, it readily tells you who's who's available. Also, when you joined up with your chat, for some reason, you still had to turn on your chat. When you joined a party, you had to go back into the system and turn on your microphone. I don't know why they just didn't like copy paste the exact same thing they had on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I, I, you know, they were just trying a little, a little bit more. Also, it's easier for people with uh, surround sound and second party uh, things for the compressed how audio. Many, how many kids, though? Like most of these people are kids. Like how, how many people? How many of them have surround sound? Though, you know? They're probably playing a in their lot more than you want to think about. Right. I, I, mean, um, I have surround sound. But like I'm, I'm an adult. I can buy my own shit. I, 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 that's what I'm saying, though. As, as an adult, and you can buy it on your own. I'm thinking about kids who have it, and it makes me cringe. Anyway, <laughs> see a list of recent players, which is something we could always do on the 360, which we can now do. Uh, the volume up and down adjustments, apparently, and I haven't messed with this last night. I can tell how much because it only went in three notch increments. So I would be ruining my, you know, whatever I was watching my episode of Archer by just screaming at it for like five minutes. Xbox up, Xbox volume up, Xbox volume up, Xbox volume up. You know, just trying to get it up and down, and it 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 was kind of useless. Nobody goes three three notches. And um, well, anyway, all this stuff was included in it, and that's great and all, but two guys I know were trying it today, and I messed around with the new thing, and it still doesn't work. Like, they updated it and everything like that, and yeah, that, that, that little friends list thing was fine. But at the end of the day, when they were trying to play Call of Duty with each other, they couldn't get in each other's party still. And if this shit is broken when Titanfalls come out, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to give them the business, personally. Believe that. <laughs> uh, I mean... going to steal that Grand Theft Auto poster. <laughs> oh, dude. I haven't really... Uh played around too much with the multiplayer yet because there hasn't been a real multiplayer game worth playing mm-hmm. on xbox one but as of next week there will be and if i can't you know hit up you or your brother or, or justin uh i'll be pretty bummed like I, if i have to play it all the time by myself uh-huh. isn't it only like I don't know you guys it's only story. multiplayer no so it's, it's a multiplayer game but it's but it's um, like like a story with campaign people, multiplayer. Right? i don't think there is story uh, there's not i, I think you guys no, were saying it's, it was. it's kind of integrated into the Actual multiplayer, multiplayer? Uh, I, I, like there's NPCs that kind of give you the lowdown. Basically, right. there is no like single player okay. mode. Like yeah. where you there's just no you straight. It, 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 it's not a game for Mr. Salty over here. No, no, no. I want to play so bad. He would. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I mean, I'm it was to get you. It was awesome. I mean, the beta, the beta. Just so everybody knows, I had no problem getting in parties with people. So there's that. And um, 
That's about it. That's about it for the news. You guys uh, want to take a test? Well, I thought you had something else for the news. Did I? I thought you did. What? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't. Okay, well then. Um, all right, so uh, let's take a test. This is a test. Pop quiz, hot shot. Test. All right, well, this week, um, I actually have a sound test for everybody here. It's uh, round two of system startups. Which system is which? I'm so sad because I lost last week. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sega. <laughs> I have six questions and a bonus question, making it seven questions. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reigning champion. I retire. <laughs> you retire. Right, don't I'm the belt of the for grab, boys. All right, you guys ready for this? Is a hand raiser? This is a hand raiser, and I actually don't have, uh, I didn't have room on my iPad for uh, a yes or no, so much to Novus' satisfaction. Thank God. <laughs> You're in big trouble, mister. Shut up, fuck you. That thing sucked, man. I hate that. That was the last one that I, I cut out, by the way. It bugged him so much. I hated it, too. It was gorgeous. Thing. You know, I had you know, to you know get rid of do? it. I you was know trying you, to hold on to you it. You know what you should do? Simply make our yes noise the M. Bison yes thing. If you Have you ever seen it? Okay, you'll you'll see it later, but it's just it's just him going yes. Okay. Is that the one from we'll the check anime it out. thing? Yeah, okay. we'll that. check it out. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. just do that. Maybe we'll talk Maybe about it in the breeze. Pacino. Yes, <laughs> we'll, we'll hit up and talk in the breeze. Um, all right, first noise. Max Barguda. I think that's a DS. You have one point. I haven't owned a fucking handheld since Game Boy. I had Game Boy Advance. I've owned one since the DS. Right on. Second noise. Nova's Redemptor. Uh, pretty sure that's Dreamcast? Correct. It's sticking. <laughs> Third noise. Mm. Anyone? I'll take a guess. John Shot. Do you get minus points? No, I won't give you mine. Uh, 3DO. Negative. No, since there's no minus points. Um, Saturn. Correct. Shit. I don't want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fourth <clears throat> noise. The text is on. The fuck? Mr. John Shot. 3DO. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You don't like 3DO, man? Neo Geo. Uh, Can you just play it again real quick? One more time, No, please. that's like 40 seconds long. <laughs> there was a load-up screen if it helps. It's a company notorious for load-ups. Max Barker. Uh, PS Vita? Mm. Yeah, original PSP, I'll give it to you though. Oh, come on. Oh, don't raise your hand after I said original <laughs> PSP. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not like a. Uh, no, you can take that, that point away. That, that's not a point. You can take that no, point away. No, that's two handheld separate... PSP. Well, that's like me saying Game Boy. Like, yeah, it was DS. I was only going. I have a regular PSP. I don't have a PS Vita, so I don't know if they changed But, but he, I'm but not be the I'm not trying to hate. Rise. I know the difference between the systems. I was purely going on the load screen. Guess so you, right. could, you could take that. I'm not, I'm not trying to hate, but I'll that's like out of fairness. Yeah, I, I don't want to be ridiculously you sour, hate you but hate I am. Um, <laughs> Easy there, salty. All right, we got uh, we got the last one before the bonus round. 3DO. <laughs> He's probably right. No, no, that's Metal Gear Solid. Right, yes. I mean, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> anyway, I got that. Last one before the bonus Point. round. Point <laughs> me. Oh. Play it again. Giant shot? Uh, I think I'm wrong, but 64? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. No, it's not. One more time. 3D. Wrong king, huh? You guys might be able to recognize that last noise and figure out what it is from that. 
Yeah. Okama Game Sphere. Three I, I gotta hurry this one up. I can't hit you again, so. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. 3DS. Negative. O- Okama so. Game Sphere. Just one last time. You wanna take a shot? Yeah, one last time. I'm gonna guess Game Boy Advance. Correct. Damn. Yeah. So you got a. Uh, you got two. Somebody outside our window is playing. That's the way I like it. <laughs> I like it. That's, that's not going to come up on the show. Right? Okay. Whoa! Like, I hear that was it. Me, sorry. Dick. I was kind of. I was kind of digging it. So at the end of two rounds, uh, Giant Shock has zero. I got three. Why, why did you say oh. two rounds? Why did you say two rounds? <laughs> then a six rounds. Max has two. Novus has two. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Uh, last one. Who wants to bet all their points? I like to bet all my points. Let's, let's bet all our points. Let's bet, put them all on the table. All right. I'm, all in. I'm all in, too. <clears throat> this one's a rough one. That was a the long f- opening. The Lynx. <laughs> <laughs> it's why they're sitting there with their hands. It's why 3 Kind of <laughs> What can we hear it one more please? Okay. I wouldn't recognize it either if it makes anybody feel better. Holy shit. Why don't we both just name it an obscure system? Go ahead. And see what happens. Uh, Alright, you go first. <laughs> uh the CDI. <laughs> Three O, son. That's a winner. It's the CDI. Motherfucker! Is it really? it is. Holy fuck! You didn't, you didn't even give him a chance to ask backwards and I Victor. shouldn't have let him go first. Early nineties. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Woo! Super nice. <laughs> no, I lost two weeks in a row. <laughs> I don't. I still don't have a uh, a victory music, but if it makes you feel better, Max, uh, this one's for you, Novus. <laughs> you idiot! That is literally the first time on the show it's not been played for me. You idiot! <laughs> you just get the whole fucking building. You have, you have to understand that I absolutely love that, so I'm not insulted now. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so Max Barracuda, what did you yeah. say? I nice. love winning by accident. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's better than winning on purpose. All right. So right now, we are going to do a new Good Van thing, Halen song. Which is a great Van yeah. Halen song. <laughs> Idiot. And we're actually going to go into a new skit where I'm going to throw up a little commercial. We're going to take a little time out. And we're going to watch a new trailer. And uh, we're going to give you guys first looks. All right. So here's, here's a little bit of love from the uh, commercial. Do you love A Squad? Of course you do! Well, here's your chance to meet them live! March 29th to March 30th at the Best Western in Mill River Manor, Long Island, New York. It's El Icon, the East Coast's newest sci fi gaming and anime festival. Come meet three of the members of A Squad the handsome and courageous Rides Like Phoenix, the charismatic Giant Shock, and the saltiest Take em or Leave a Bastard you've ever met, Max Barracuda! Sunday, 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 and Saturday, Saturday first, then Sunday, 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 be there. there. Alright, we're back from commercial, and it's time to... New Arkham City game is coming out, and it's coming out this year. Fuck we just yes. watched a trailer. Incredible. PS4, Xbox away. One, man. Exclusive. Now I gotta buy Exclusive. the goddamn system. You have to. It's that good. We'll buy it for that. It looks. I mean, they didn't show any in-game uh, footage. Like it's not obviously not from the engine. It's just the movie. You probably see an E3 actual. It looked so and good. If it's anything less than the previous Arkham games I want to buy it but you know it's not going to be so I'm going oh, it's to not. be buying this yeah, game it's back in the hands of Rocksteady again yes and, and Rocksteady instead of WB Montreal and, 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 and what they've done in the last two and now what they're going to do this one is going to take it they're going to make more of the same but bigger better 
Did you hear the whole uh, like scope of it? No, I yeah. know it's. I know Arkham City is gonna or Arkham whatever the scope it's of the game. Five all times of Gotham, bigger, like five times bigger. All so of Gotham. Five that's, times. Um, that's awesome. Five times so big, in fact, that you need the Batmobile. You'll be driving it. It has a drive. That is awesome. It's Batmobile. actually going to be part of your Batman weaponry. I don't know if that means it's gonna show up every once in a while and shoot shit, but well, um, it's like Titanfall where you get to control it when you're not with it. Oh, you definitely do. They said you can Probably. call... The things that they said about it is, A, uh, for people who didn't see the trailer, it looks like the Tumblr version more like than the old school version. It's or like, even the animated series. It's like a sleeker Tumblr. Right. Um, I was. I, I know in the first one, when you defeated Bane in Arkham uh, Asylum... When you hit him with the car? It was the yeah. animated series Batmobile. Yeah, it, it looked a lot more classic. More than, or less. Than, than anything but in the But everything about this new trailer is revamp like look at the costume it's not a bat suit anymore it's a fucking bat armor yeah. it's a lot softer looking too like all the faces like harley quinn's looking nice but um nice, nice. you know bruce wayne doesn't have that they, they kind of always borrowed a little bit from the animated series i think he's got a bruce campbell chin in the fucking right game, so. i mean a lot of people are talking about this game right now and you could probably find a lot but you're not going to find anything from a, um, a comic book standpoint like we have the comic book background to compare, which I want to do tonight. I want to compare to what stories, because traditionally the Arkham games kind of bit off different story arcs right. from Batman. You want to break it down? Well, I got to, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we'll break it down a little bit, and then I want to get into what story I think they could be stealing from. Okay. Not ste I don't even want to say stealing. Well, I have an idea. I want you to already got idea. an idea of, of what the story's about? I mean, I, I do. I've, I do. I thought that was basically like just kind of a teaser more than anything well in yeah, the trailer but... scarecrow is telling everyone to leave the city and um, will only sure or you, sears yeah you see penguin is that, who that was in the beginning two face the opening Harley. monologue yeah would it ruin the game for you if it wasn't scarecrow if it was a mad hatter would you see some Pen yeah if it was a mad hatter it would ruin the game for me. <laughs> well but you've already heard his voice in the previous game so we know it's not mad hatter and then anyway <clears throat> Welcome, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Wonderland. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that would really bug. But... Come down my hole. That's as far, really as, far as the car. <laughs> every, everything I've heard about this game so far, I love. Kevin Conroy's back. Thank God. Um, he, doesn't he retire after every Batman and just come no, back? He, no, he, he never always, said he yeah, would retire. They, 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 put, they put him aside for the last one. Mark, no, but I'm like, he, the, the guy who does Batman, he's always like, yeah, this is my last no, one. Mark no, Mark Hamill's always Ma retired. Well, Mark Hamill says that it's well, got to be a really sweet story. Well, to be fair to Mark Hamill, he dies at every Batman. To be Batman. fair, I think we have not seen the last of the Joker in, in, in some capacity in this game. They said that this is the last of... Uh, the, the Arkham games, yeah. and they're not going to do it without but is it, is, not this, without is, the Joker. This right? is not going to be a prequel, right? This is not. No, like this any, takes no, place. No, this takes one after. year after Arkham, Arkham City, City. Okay. not Origin. Okay, good because I, I want to make sure it's you know sequential. So, there's going to be a baby Joker. It could be a baby Joker, although I saw Harley and she wasn't showing. But so. a year later, not nine months. Okay. And at the All end right, I mean, of she Arkham lost City, a lot of baby weight in Arkham City. They're, well, it's a comic book. Thing, She's too. been on that kid. In Arkham City, they have broke. the baby. They have the, the proof that he impregnated her is in Arkham City. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be your thing. Mm -hmm. He's going to have like a weird clone baby Joker. Mr. J. I don't. I just don't see a one-year-old pos posing or a two-month-old posing that much threat. No, but they're going to give him hyper growth. Like reverse Benjamin Button shit. So, so they're gonna give him, oh, yeah. they're gonna give him Titan formula. He's become like a super baby. I hope. Yeah, not. they'll dip him in a Lazarus pit or something. At yeah. the end of Arkham uh, Asylum, uh, on the cutscenes, what's his name? Scarecrow got that vial of. So did depending Titan. on how you played the game. So did Bane. So yeah. did Killer Croc. Like there were different hands coming out. Of the I want to see a jacked up Scarecrow. I want to see. Well, you know he's in there. They actually had the Easter egg in Arkham City of you finding. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever did it. Oh, yeah, in the Scarecrow's boat. boat. In the boat. Right. Which was an awesome fucking scene. Um, anyway, back to the Batmobile real fast. Just if, if anyone has doubts about it, um, it's got a sweet ejector seat already to get you to shoot up to the top so you don't have to like get out and park it and you know make sure it's locked and jump up to the, the side of the building. I was worried. Uh, also, definitely going to have some sort of weapons... They said, you hope. Um, the streets are actually wider now to make sure that, you know, like you uh, can drive down. a little cruising room. <laughs> Batman never uh, took into consideration the lane width of when he made the Batmobile. It's like, God <laughs> he damn, was still this smashing into cars. On the traffic the hours. I know. <laughs> beep, beep, move over. I'm Batman. <laughs> He's got a gadget that, like, 
<laughs> it goes underneath the other cars and they just like kind of drive over his like side so he can fit on the fucking road. Well, like, like a cow? Yeah, like, like a, a cow catcher. Cow yeah. Yeah. Cow catcher. <laughs> well, if you would have asked me three days ago what game I would have liked to see and how, uh, I mean, just a fantasy, it would have been this game done by Rocksteady, Kevin Conroy being back. I want to know who else they're going to get for the voice cast because they did get some really great ones for City. Well, we saw some returns. We saw Penguins in there. So Penguins, that's Penguins Nolan North. He's thrown North. out. Uh, I, I love the fact guns. that like when Nolan North did like pretty much every single henchman in the game too because they yeah. all have the same exact accent. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Holly Quinn, bitch. Yeah, it's cold out here. It's cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a couple things that people noticed on the internet about it. Old style cars. Everyone's thinking that maybe the trailer either bounces back and forth or... Maybe some flashbacks. I personally think Gotham has always been stylized like that. I didn't pick up on that. No? In the trailer. I think Are you like, saying while they're having the riots but, and everything? Yeah, but what I'm saying is you didn't pick up on it, and I didn't pick up on it until I read the 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 boards out there, but that's because I'm so used to it in the Batman. Hey, I never see real new Hey, cars, it's Gotham, huh? Gotham City. They're always retro-ish. Right. And we've never seen cars in Arkham, really, in the Arkham series, except that they're on fire during Arkham City. Yeah, yeah that is true. I know. Well, uh, we also, don't know what they drive. Also, with that whole scarecrow thing, I'm just, I'm guessing there's not going to be pedestrians again. I'm, I'm assuming it's another cop out to not put pedestrians. In. Oh, have everyone flee the city? Correct. That, yeah, that was my people, first thought. Why would people be out there, man? It's fucking, you know, it's it's a riot. Well, they had Harley Quinn, Two Face, and Penguin working together just in the trailer. Also, I've heard that Hush is going to be a big... He's got to be after Yo, City. Yo, shh, shh. Mm-hmm. shh. <laughs> can't. Don't um, about that shit. Did anyone else think that maybe... since This trailer was called Father to Son. Um, also, there was a hint drop from uh, from Rocksteady that said that the dark... The, the, um, the Arkham Knight is not actually referring to Batman. It's referring to a new character. A new, like, completely original? Or a character who's in the Bat universe? Completely original. Sort of, though. It could... Uh, well, see, here's Are my theory. Are they going to kill Batman? Is that what you're thinking? No, here's my theory. My theory is that they're going to... And we've seen it in the comic books before where, like, a much harder-ass Batman comes along. Well, I'm they, thinking father to son, Dam- Dam- Damian, Damian. Wayne. Damian, Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne's but, dead in the comic. I mean, they introduced... Azrael in the last game, he was a Batman briefly. They right. introduced Nightwing and Red Robin in the last game. Red, Red Robin's delicious. If, if they did, if <laughs> Red they, Robin. But if they Yum. did Damian Wayne, it'd be too soon after the the first the Arkham City. It's only a year, so. Oh, did he only meet Talia? Yeah, I, I'm, isn't that right? In, no, in Origin. Oh, in Arkham City, he knew Talia. Yeah, okay. he knew her already. But they didn't. He, she didn't introduce him to his son or anything. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> But even so, this kid is still young then. He's so a, I guess they got to... Really yeah, he was like... He's too new 52, you know? He, I don't like the whole Damien, Damien Wayne thing. Son of the demon? I'm not I always want to call him Damien Wayne's. But. <laughs> <laughs> that homie clown shit was played. He hasn't not, done shit Definitely not for my favorite long, Robin Major Iron. pain, what was that, 94? Right, blank man, get out of here. <laughs> J5. <laughs> what if they shoot him in the face? <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think that they're going to be taken from? Batman. My my hope would be more uh, along the lines of No Man's Land. Okay, see, I'm thinking No Man's Land. Um, I kind of thought that City was kind of No Man's Land. In a smaller scale. For those who don't know No Man's Land, No Man's Land is when a uh, an earthquake hits Gotham, taking out all the bridges. Picture Gotham as Manhattan. So the government disavows it as a war zone, and the criminals start vying. It's like the warriors. It's like they each start grabbing up land. It's the second half of, um, the, new of, of the new Batman movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Only picture that better with yeah. more villains. Yeah, picture that now with just Bane and... The Scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, like, each villain is grabbing their little slice. Yeah. That's what I want. To I, what I really want to know is how did the Scarecrow just get to be a part of things forever? Like, he's in all three Batman movies. I'm spooky. He's in all the fucking games. Like... I guess I guess because he's more of a realistic character than yeah, let's say that Killer guy. Croc, yeah, and the uh, drugs thing rather I, than what you can have Penguin while his fat ass around Nolan. Yeah, he's movie. an arms you know, dealer because they can't really push the Joker all the time. Yeah, they, and also he also he's got something to fight uh, Batman with. He can hit him with that and just just have him go berserk a little bit. With the Penguin, yeah, he's an arms dealer, but really he's just another yeah, okay, douche. I get, like, I get you like you know? the, fir- like the, the first fat- little. 
Nothing. Right. Yeah. If you're a Batman, they're like, okay, you get hit with the first time. Oh, I'm scared. All right, this is the deal. The second time, oh, all right. But like the third or fifth, the eighth time you get hit with this little juice, it's like... Yeah. Well, what if I was pumping in a massive dose of heroin into you every time I saw you? <laughs> That's like, a totally different thing. His, you how, probably, do you how do you figure? Well, because figure? his, his stuff makes you afraid of, like, you know, your innermost uh, fears, while heroin will put you to sleep. Like, look at Scott Wound. That guy. Uh, who's to say the fear we're, juice? We're not talking about Scott Wyland. I have a story about that. But, um... Did a little heroin with Scott Wyland. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand but, um, why you get thrown out But at least with, with, with Scarecrow, though, when you put him into, like, the, the second two, uh, the, the second and third Nolan films, it's like, he doesn't need to be there. As far as the games go, he was always to great effect. Yeah, he was awesome. Well, he was, his little sideboards were cool. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't uh, even And he broke second. it up. He broke it up a little bit in the first one, where you got to do a little something. Some surreal. of the coolest levels yeah. of the game. But uh, he was he was there as far as like a, a background thing a in, in, in in City. Like Everyone's like, is he dead? No, I don't think so. So everyone knows he's somewhere around there, which obviously means he's not dead because he comes up in the third one. Well, he's all, he was also pretty cool in Injustice when you knock people through Gotham. Or that I was mean Arkham. Just the Arkham version right, it was of pretty Scarecrow, cool. too. It was pretty cool. That's probably the coolest scarecrow out there. Yeah, I mean, like I, I'm used to like the animated version. Needle and fingers, though, way mm. cooler. That that is that is kind of a cool idea, but it's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so yeah. here's my theory. Did anyone read? Um, and this bear. this is like a, a this is like an off put. This was actually a novel, not a graphic novel. But Batman um, Inferno. No. Which one's that? Batman Inferno was a very night uh, uh, no man's land type book that I read. Um, I don't want to give away the whole book, but in it, it's a new character named Enfer. That's a, a pyro. He was like a his backstory. I guess he was a firefighter that liked starting his own fires. Mm. And uh, he burnt Arkham to the ground because he was in love with the Joker. And then obviously, when he meets the Joker, the two psychos don't connect. And Bruce Wayne was gone the first half of the book. Because he was in Washington fighting the whole no man's land thing, where they they legit blew up the bridges to make it a, a prison. Right. And uh, when he got back, everybody had already claimed territories. Like Poison Ivy owned the park and like this. And but what we're saying here, though, is pretty much you want no man's land adjacent story. It's gotta be right. I mean, it's gotta be. It's, it's, He's he that, needs. Who's writing it? Who wrote? Um, Arkham Knight? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Okay, because Paul Dini wrote the last two, and he's already a veteran of, of Batman. The animated series. He if Paul Dini wrote, was in, then I'm in. Because like, well, so. not only did he write the games, but he also wrote the graphic novels that went with the games to bridge them all. He goes all the way back to the animated series. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and he created, he created Harley, Quinn. Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, he's so if, sick. If, I don't if know. I don't know if he's signed one, on for the new one. If he's back for a third one, you know, it's it's probably going to borrow a little bit from the mythos and still be at well, least somewhere. He's the only guy to ever game, make uh, Mister Freeze any cool. This game yeah, was pulled life, straight maybe. from my fantasy, so I gotta imagine he's involved in some capacity. No, but like to me, the whole No Man's Land thing is the only logical progression to make Gotham City a playable environment. Right. Me too. Travel between the two, like the the uh, fence off area of Arkham, and then out to Gotham. Or... Out to Gotham, where pedestrians aren't necessarily roaming the streets, you know, and and you kind of have free reign. There's not cars on the road necessarily. Mm -hmm. I feel though, if there was pedestrians um, roaming the streets, the first time they would get it wrong, and every two minutes you'd be inundated with like, this guy's in trouble, this they're, guy's in trouble. But that's I don't think with you, you know, barreling down the road in a Batmobile, they're going to do that because it's going to start mowing people down. That's mm -hmm. not Batman. That's true. Uh, yeah, if you, I mean, they're not going to let you kill people. Those streets like... are going to be <laughs> empty. <laughs> so they or, need to have an excuse to, for it to be empty. No so, jaywalking. Uh, well, you, 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 can just, you can just sit there and watch everybody die like in Man of Steel. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever read a Superman comic? He levels Metropolis every time. I'm tired of that argument. I, I, I am not, that movie's good. I have no, no, I like the movie, so high five. I like the movie. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, awesome. I'm just saying. Yeah, you just let everybody die. <laughs> And, 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 and I think Batman would do the same if he had an awesome Batman movie like that. He wouldn't. Batman's different. Anyway, if anyone hasn't <laughs> seen it, um, I'm super psyched about it. Check it out on YouTube. Batman, uh, he's back. My name is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he's back. It's Batman Arkham Knight. Check it out. Oh, uh, quick note. Uh, GameStop put it on for October 14th. I don't know if that... Is a That's legit the thing. It's the week of Comic Con New York. That's what they got. Doesn't that seem to be the, the, the month, the usual release month for that? That is, because they yeah, always October. do a big giant thing at Comic Con. Yeah. And a Halloween thing. 
So, like, right before. Yeah, because I think... And that well, would make sense if it was a scarecrow just saying. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think City came out, like, mid-October two years ago. Yeah. So... All right. The first one that ever came out, did, it came out in the winter, though. It came out, like, February or March or some shit. I think October always, huh? Don't shit on our point. No, <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just saying it's... it's, it's yeah. Well, I'm sorry. It came out in the summer. It came out in, like, uh, uh, I want to say July, because... Uh, that was week I, 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 I'm not going to get into how I know, but it came out in July. The first one came out in July. All right. All right. You're probably right. Okay. That's I my guess. that's my one good talent. You got some secret thing. All I right. know you're a master of dates, as we learned last week. Yes. Right. All right. So uh, let's just uh, shoot the breeze. Hey. Right or die, motherfucker. Anybody Still see anything so else cool? <laughs> um... Although it's already been released or been out for a while, Battle Block Theater, the uh, Xbox Live Arcade game, is coming to Steam soon, which is a fun game by Behemoth Games. If you know Castle Crashers or uh, yeah, Animated, yeah, yep, yep. yeah, those guys they they had their game on Xbox. They're bringing it to Steam pretty soon. I actually just signed up for the beta, so I'm gonna hopefully. They do a tower defense game I love on iPad. Do they? Yeah. Um, which I can't think of the name now, but I've bought in both versions of it. Well, a lot of the stuff I liked, like also, it's it's very you know silly lowbrow humor, but also, it's um it's very cool as far as their stylized graphics, um, the, oh, just the general cartoon of it, um, and uh, it's all just kind of fun. Like the last game was puzzle games. Castle Crashers is a great beat 'em up, you know, just a lot of fun. So I'm I'm waiting for the uh, the beta to try it out, see what's going on. That sounds cool. Cool, man. Anybody else? I'm going upstairs to play South about? Park after you yeah. guys leave, man. That's, I know. That's the, <laughs> they have the Antonio Banderas blow-up doll on that shit. That what is like season do? two. Nothing. You sell it for money. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you go into Cartman's mom's room. There's a bunch of fun stuff there. I'm sure that room's got to be one of the yeah. more interesting. A lot of cussing. Anything that Butter says is great. Like I'm, I'm sitting there rolling, laughing, where he's just like, you better recognize Biatch. <laughs> <laughs> when you like, beat someone over the head with a hammer. Nice. And we're like, we're, it's funny because when you beat a kid, they'll run away. Like, go, oh, it's too real. Uh, this sucks. Like, <laughs> like, the, like they're they're all in character until they get hurt, and then they're like, man, I'm going, I'm telling, and they run away. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> all right, with that, fine. Screw you guys, we're going home. Um, That's your new outro. No, well, I mean, I don't think we really have anything else. So, <laughs> um, the no, but you, Creed you, Four soundtrack is really good running music. Yeah? Is yeah. that what you've been doing? The what soundtrack? Assassin's Creed 4. I got a zombie running app that um, it, it does increments. It's like three minutes of walking and then, you know, three minutes of jogging. And, and, and uh, actually it just goes, zombies, when you got to run. And you run and they're like, all right, I think we're clear. Did you I buy that walk. shit? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. I oh. came up with a fantasy glitch <laughs> that I'll save for a later date that's similar. To well, that. I'll tell you after you. this. We'll just throw it on, man. I'm not doing it. I, it's not fully formed. Yet. He probably still has the sound clip on there. It's fully. It's not fully formed. Fans it's to say. Glitch. You, <laughs> you play. You paid for that app. It was a dollar, man. Why? What are you doing? They with made a dollars? dollar off of that. It's I like, I could have recorded that. Give me a dollar. <laughs> Zombies, run! Money, whoa, please. Whoa. They're gone. They're gone. All right, now what? <laughs> Three minutes later. The zombies again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for playing, everyone. <laughs> Um, you want to uh, introduce the the song you you gave me? Yeah, I I decided to give uh like it's to on give Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, like us on Facebook. The Facebook's really uh, heating up. It's hot. Pe- people are loving it. Mm-hmm. Um, it better be. I've been sharing stuff. Check it us check us out on <laughs> iTunes and Podbean, of course. <laughs> Nobody will share some with you. you fucking look. <laughs> I got some shares for you. Yeah. Right, right. Shares right in your face. <laughs> But yeah, the, so I, I brought a song to close us out on. Um, if anybody's not aware, there is a musician on the internet and YouTube um, named Brental Floss. And what he does is basically takes a lot of older video games and adds lyrics to them. Um, and has a whole bunch of YouTube videos up, and every two years or so he releases an album of the stuff. And his newest one, Philosophy, came out uh, digitally last week and physical copies this past Tuesday. And one of my favorite songs by him is the one we're about to play. It's uh, a song, uh, an original one, dedicated to Bioshock. All right, everybody. So uh, definitely, definitely hit us up on the Facebook. Thanks. Thanks for playing. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Come on down to Rap 
shop Jam a needle in your arm It'll slowly corrode your genetical code But it's all part of the charm So you're a gross abomination But in time you're gonna be So glad you came on down To the best little town At the bottom of the deep blue sea